Hi, this is Chris Whiting from Wine Groover again. I'm here at Gurwin Estates Winery at Wines. Now, Steve Messeter here is really starting up this place from an old abandoned or not looked after vineyard here. He's at the start of his journey. Now, I think he's got the capacity and he's got the verve and he's got the stock to actually make some really great wines. He's making them now. I think they're going to get even better. So let's go and meet him and let's meet someone at the start of their journey. Discover them before they get really big. I'm here with Steve Messeter from Girouin Estates Wine, which used to be apparently the Bald Mountain uh, Vineyard. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, that's, that's great. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so. Now this is an exciting time for you, uh, Steve. You on Sunday you start picking, and we've just been outside and seen all this wonderful new shiny equipment that you've got to uh, um, to create your own wine. So it's an exciting time for you. Oh, absolutely. So we've spent the last couple of years fixing up the vineyard basically and so now the next step is to start making our own wine so mm -hmm. up to now I've had contract wine making for our wines and just sold here through our cellar door mm -hmm. but um, but now I want to have a crack at making it myself but this place which was established uh, as a as a table grape vineyard actually in 1948 and then changed over to wine grapes in uh, in the 80s mm -hmm. um, came up on the market and we thought, oh, well, we'll, we'll have a crack at uh, mm -hmm. starting with a, an established vineyard, which mm -hmm. was actually probably a good move. <laughs> so dating back to um, 1948, so it's, it's got a real history to it. Oh, absolutely, yeah. 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 And so you're almost in the shadow of the, um, of the National Park, Girouin National Park. It really frames the place, makes it a great experience, a great place to live and work. Great scenery. Oh, absolutely. That's what attracted us most probably to the property is, uh, is in a little amphitheatre of rocks all around and it's just mm -hmm. a beautiful place. And mm -hmm. so Our aim obviously is to make really high quality wine. You know, we're a boutique producer. We only make probably about five or six hundred cases of wine a year. Mm -hmm. um, so, so really looking forward to, to the improvements that we've made, hopefully flowing through to better quality fruit. And then you know, applying some more boutique um, winemaking techniques, where, where we'll be watching it a lot more closely than uh, you otherwise would, uh, and trying to really do something special with the wines as well. So, mm. what wines can we expect to see from Girouin Estates, or what are you already producing? Well, I think we, we uh, when we started, we made some sparkling wine to have a, a little bit of a point of difference. So we have a range of sparklings, which is a which is a little bit unusual. So we make one from each of our varieties, basically. So we have a sparkling Sauvignon Blanc, which is quite a unique wine, okay. and a sparkling Chardonnay, and a sparkling Shiraz, and a sparkling Rosé. So we make, we make, when people come here, they can try a different range of, you know, four different sparklings. Uh, and then to go with that, we're gonna go for a range of wines that are really, um, you know, um, top level, sort of mm -hmm. as good as we can make them anyway, and, and hopefully make an iconic wine, hopefully. Describe your, um, the unwooded Chardonnay. Uh, what's special about it? What do you like about it? I think it's um, it's it's Chardonnay is a sort of grape that uh, um, in the past has been made uh, fairly neutral and used oak to flavour it and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, these days, unwooded Chardonnay has become a style, and we try to make it as much like the varietal grape as we can and try mm -hmm. to get some flavour. So yeah. I think our Shiraz, the, the block was planted in 1971, so the vines are pretty large, old vine. Uh, mm -hmm. style of uh, thing and, and we're hoping that you know the fruit quality off that will, will get us a bit of reputation around the place. So, yeah. Great, looking mm -hmm. forward to that. Mm -hmm. okay. Steve's got many things going for him in this journey. Good vines, training and a great setting. But it is his enthusiasm that will make the difference for Girouin Estate.